Pops have out another Brooklyn Net test positive Unbelievable. for coronavirus. Unreal. And now it's Michael Beasley who they bring in <laughs> to to help out this roster that has been plowed through with every injury in the book and a ton of coronavirus. And now Michael Beasley is a guy who's got coronavirus. I hate you. I hate you. It's, it's, ins- it's insanity. Everybody, they, it seems like anybody on this roster comes down with coronavirus. And it, it also comes on the heels, what I was also telling Al, we do a warm-up show between 5 and 6 yeah. every morning. Yeah. Um, MLS released their numbers of 1,464 tests that they did a, a couple of days ago or, or maybe you know three days ago, whatever it was. Zero positive cases. Zero. And the Nets can't go a week without one of their players testing positive. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah. And so do we know... Now, I read part of the story. Do we think he came into it positive, or is this something that transpired once he got to Orlando? Well, it's in you know it's a big difference between those things. He had to leave the bubble, so he already made it into the bubble. Meaning, to me, if you go into the bubble, he had tested been, negative. Right. That's the only way I can I can read that. So then, my we, thought, my first thought was: Is it possible it was a false? positive then yeah because it just seems from everything i've read and a lot of the videos that i've seen uh stories that have been put out it really looks like they at least have a handle on things i mean hell again if mls did 1464 negative tests uh which is tremendous news they're playing at wide world of sports too i just wonder how and why that he came down with this if in fact he didn't have it before he got there well, also, don't you need to be there for X amount of days before? Like, a bunch of teams went there, and before they practiced, they were there for a number of days. Maybe because he signed late, he was in that period where he was by himself. Possible. And he was waiting the results of his test, and he wasn't around the team. I, I, can't, I can't find that answer right now. But if he was around the team, you would imagine, especially with how infectious the Nets seem to be, it seems like one guy gets it and another guy gets it, then you would think that if he's around the team, you're going to hear more positive tests from the Nets. The Nets might be that team that they have to just completely send home. No, they're going, going to like, keep bringing guys up. I mean, jeez. Nope. Just nope. make them the Knicks. <laughs> just take the, the whole Nets roster out, put the Knicks in the Nets uniforms, uh, and see how that works And send out. the Nets to the Delete 8. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's discouraging for sure. Um, but... You've also got teams that are doing quite well with this so far. It's just weird that it's happening to this team here uh, from our area. But, yeah, it's weird, man. You know, you're down there in Orlando, and you think you're going to start playing basketball soon, and every guy that you bring in, yep, out, out. What is it, six now or seven? Eight. It's eight. eight. Since think the beginning that. of this, eight, eight nets. And that's including Kevin Durant, who tested positive a number of months ago. But I think it's, what, six maybe since – all of that happened months ago? No, just thinking at the top of my head, is there any other team that even compares to that? Not really, right? Not that, no. Not that I can even think. Of, no, not even mm-hmm. close. I mean, one or two here or there are different teams. But you have eight players total, and all the guys that just tested positive, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, DeAndre Jordan, Toreen Prince, Michael Beasley. I mean, <laughs> I mean it's just. Yeah, I mean, you knew with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving not being healthy enough to come back and play in this bubble end of the season that they weren't going to make a lot of noise to begin with. That would have been a shocker. But you know, now it's like, what's the point of even having them there? Well, and, fill out the really, schedule. <laughs> really, that's all it is. Because they, you got you had, you would have to think at this point, um, even as good as Karis Levert is. I mean, you're not gonna, you can't put the team completely on your back. Uh, you would think at this point they probably won't even make it to the playoffs, even though right now they're in playoff position. They got games to play, and this is no semblance of the team we've seen all year long. It's just not. I mean, there's you know you got Jared Allen out there. Okay, fine. There's a couple of guys, but it's not. There are no stars. You're missing your your big scores. It's gonna be it's gonna be what it is. It's gonna be an evaluation period for Sean Marks and whatever players that they saw. They signed a point guard from Memphis. Um, from the University of Memphis, they, he's going to get minutes. It's going to be a very unrecognizable team for stretches of games if you're a Nets fan. It's just going to be different. And so they'll use it for what it is. They'll get film on guys, and they don't make the playoffs. It'll be a quick stay for the Nets and out. Yeah, 
And this snitch hotline is I, – I love the idea of this snitch hotline because you've got a, a, a group of players, and apparently, I don't know, people were on Twitter were assuming it was Chris Paul was the source of the snitch hotline. I don't mm. know if they're joking around or not. Um, but – You've got a, a group of players who want to make sure that this thing gets going and starting and playing, and then you've got another group of players who essentially aren't taking this thing seriously at all, and then you've got one group snitching on the other with a synonymous tip line. Yeah. And, it go, and then there's like now reports of what activity goes on any particular day. Like really? yesterday it was snitch hotline quiet, but then today, this morning, is lots of tips coming in on the snitch. The snitch hotline, the narc line, as these guys are just ratting on one another if they see them do something, which I I don't really understand because if you see somebody doing something they're not supposed to do, don't you just tell them directly? (laughs) 